So this is the deep dive, spoiler-filled discussion of the movie Ruin Me. Uh, I'm actually kind of winging this one. I haven't written anything or prepared anything. I actually just saw the movie about half an hour ago, recorded the uh, review really quickly while it was still fresh in my mind, and here I am. So, yeah, like I said, the, uh, the th I think the real joy of this one was the notion of what is going on, what is actually happening, because you just know that surface level is not happening here, and even below the surface level where, uh, you know, just things are straight up getting out of hand with a slasher that happens to be going there coincidentally, you just know that that is a little too uh, shallow for this one. Um so my first thought while watching it was, uh, I think, the minute the other characters got established, uh, my first thought was that everybody was in on this except for the first two characters. Uh, that, uh, and that was probably, honestly, uh, if you haven't seen uh, the game with the Michael Douglas movie, I do highly recommend it. And I'm not going to give anything away there, but I'll probably just say that that movie influenced uh, some of my, uh, theories on Ruin Me. So, uh, regardless, that was my first thought, and I thought it was fun exploring that within the storylines that developed. Um, uh, things started to change for me, uh, on that front when, uh, I think the real critical point that things changed for me was actually at the, probably the first, uh, part of the third act, Everything that was thrown at us up until that point, honestly, in my mind, just supported the theory further and further. Uh, and as we know from watching it, the theory actually kind of holds up that everybody was involved. But at the same time, it doesn't because even though everybody was involved with the game, uh, there were a few players there that were actually just players. Um, there were plants, uh, the NPCs of the game, if you want to call them that. Uh, were indeed part of it, um, and that, uh, you know, nothing was out of hand until it was when the game was over. <clears throat> oh, and uh, until that, uh, you know, this, the scene in the ocean with, uh, you know, her old uh, boyfriend or friend. Uh, but uh, that was the fun part, and when the first part of the third act did happen, it threw me for a loop. All of a sudden, um, the notion of bringing back a character from her past, and a past that was potentially health hazardous for her, I thought that that was too cruel to be a part of a legitimate, you know, I'm paying for an experience kind of game. That is... Uh, going above and beyond to the point of this can no longer be thought of as fun and so now we are operating outside the bounds of the safety protocols and uh, while well, it turns out you know I was right on that one uh, I just didn't know what exactly was going on um, that portion of things was outside of the game and uh, the notion of the boyfriend, the current boyfriend at least, uh, setting that up to have a, is it, you know, your old life versus your new life, me versus him, with deathly consequences, I thought was probably one of the bigger failings of the movie, um, to be perfectly honest, because it worked on a tie-up loose ends level, and when you have a mystery such as this, I think that that's important. There wasn't a whole lot left to question at that point. But it did break a lot of character immersion, because that is so far above and beyond any rational person's thought uh, that I would think it'd be a reflective trait of their character in the first place. If somebody was capable of murder to get their, their girlfriend clean, uh, I would think that that would show in some ticks and tells during the course of their year-long relationship. Uh, but regardless, uh, you know, that's the way that they chose to do things. That's the way that it uh, tied things up. The girl, uh, so, you know, seemingly survived. Uh, whether or not she's better or the worse for wear, the 
probably not. Uh, I mean, that had to have been pretty psychologically scarring. Regardless, um, I have to give some major uh, kudos for how much it did keep me on my toes. It wasn't scary. It wasn't terribly intelligent, but it was just a oodles of fun. And when I first sat down to the movie, I honestly did not think it would be that. When the things kicked off and you saw them driving in the car in the first scene, and especially when they got to the gas station and you met these terrible caricatures of, of people, um, I thought I was in for a real disappointing hour and a half. And I wasn't. Uh, I was surprised that I kept through it. Uh, and, and kept through it with a sense of entertainment and fun. So, um, yeah, better than I thought, uh, and I really did enjoy it. So, uh, what did you think? Did it tie up all the loose ends for you? Were your hypotheses correct? Uh, do you agree with me that it actually had the, the you know, brain working at all, uh, you know, throughout the movie and... Feel free to leave discussions in the comments. Uh, I'd love to read them. Let's, uh, let's talk about this one and move on to the next.